everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to all the new subbies and all the subbies that have been here all along. I'm glad to have you all along for the ride. I've come along today to show you something a little bit different. I have some slow stitching and some crochet to show you, different bits and pieces and how you can use that in your junk journal. So um, I want to show you all the lovely goodies that I was lucky enough to get for my birthday last week. So I thought you might enjoy the share of those. A couple of other things that are new that I wanted to share. So to start with, I was a really lucky girl. I got some lovely cottons to do my slow stitching with and a beautiful pair of embroidery scissors and I've got such a lovely stash of colours here in sort of pinks and purples a bit of red and green so lots of choices there and they are embroidery cottons I think they were well, they were they were made in Spain those ones and these ones here are French 100% cotton cotton perle so I've got lots to go on with there and I've got this beautiful pair of embroidery scissors from France so I'll have some nice little cute little embroidery scissors to work with they're pretty it looks like a stalk I think or a crane so they are Bohin France so I felt very lucky to get those and along with that I also got these beautiful books on slow stitching and this one has to be my absolute favourite because it's got all the beautiful things that I love to do love to play with in here stitched memories really old-fashioned style vintage things which I love so I think you may have seen anyone who follows Susanna Easdale from Vintage Blend Studios. She is doing this lovely tablecloth at the moment on her channel. She's actually doing the little hexagons. So this is a great book. I'm really looking forward to having a good play with this. There's so many gorgeous things in here to, you know, practice with and use up, which we could also use in our junk journals. And that's what I'm always on the lookout for, some new little thing that adds a bit of life to your journals or something different. And just the simplest of stitches can actually make such a difference. You only need to put in the tiniest little bit, just a glimmer of something, like look at this, just a key stitched on and some wool and it's really up to your own imagination. So that's an example of couching there. All the old doilies which is something that we really enjoy in our, in our work and of course we've all been doing the fabric rolls lately. So they are top of the list, and isn't that a beautiful one? Just different little pieces of fabric that have a little story on them. It can be the smallest of things, but mean an awful lot. So anyway, I thought you'd love to, to share that with me. That's beautiful too. Look, that's just the kind of thing that we would like to put in our journals, isn't it? The kind of thing that we've been doing. All the old fashioned doilies and little pieces of napkins and all sorts of oddments that really have special meaning somewhere along the line in some way or other. And the hexagons and also the lovely wall hangings. It's a, another thing you can do. So that's one of the beautiful books that I was lucky enough to receive for my birthday. I was very impressed about that. 
and another one that I've got, it even has a fabric cover. It's called Stitch Stories, Personal Places, Spaces and Traces in Textile Art. This one's more of an art-based book, whereas that one's more sort of vintage style, whereas this is sort of modern techniques. But again, it gives you a good idea of... Um, Susan Taylor Brown would absolutely adore this, I'm sure. This is right up her alley. The kind of work that she would like. So there's a bit of everything in here. It's more of an artistic style of work and a lot of nature based and nature colours. So that's another avenue that you can take depending on your own style. So I found that quite interesting to have a read of and a look at and that's like a sort of a step up from what we have been doing. I mean look at this, this is very artistic isn't it and also very nature based. A tree with branches and sort of messy stitching, sewing. So it's up to your own imagination as to how far you want to take this style of work. It's, it can be as simple as just some straight stitches on fabric or you can get really artistic. <laughs> That's a beautiful little purse with a little girls stitched on it. That's really lovely. Domestic tales. So this is really all about the stories within. So that particular piece is Tales of Loss and you've got three little kittens here and the ants so it's quite a sad story that one. And there's some bunnies over here. So it just goes to show how simple things can tell quite a lot in the big picture. So that's a lovely, beautiful fabric covered book that I thought you might like to have a look at. I'm just going to run back over these because I've realised that you poor people got chopped off the top. So what we were looking at here, just a quick flick through of this one so you can see the bits that I accidentally chopped off. I'm so sorry about that. I'm hoping if I show you this way you can see better. So that is the beautiful roll, fabric roll, and if I bring that up a little bit closer maybe you can see. I'm sorry the light is shining really badly on that isn't it? Which makes it hard for you to see. Just giving you a quick flick through of the bits that you probably weren't able to see before. It's really lovely. I'll just try and bring that up a bit closer. I can't really tell if the light's bad or not on that. It's just so pretty. So, just a quick look flick through that lovely, lovely book and gorgeous heart. Can you see that heart there? I'm not so sure. And the beautiful tablecloth that Susanna Easdale is working on with her little hexagons and there is the lovely wall hanging I'm hoping you can actually see that better yeah. and in this one there was a couple, couple of things that I mentioned that I thought would be interesting to you folk if I can find them again give you a bit of a flick through without chopping the top off this time. I'm hoping that you can see. Might gather up some ideas from there. It's very art style book. Beautiful. Lovely. 
gorgeous pictures. And this one is all about the stories. I just love that rabbit there. That's gorgeous. All about the stories behind the art. As I mentioned before, and I know I tried to show you these lovely little girls on the purses, which are so cute. I'm not sure if you could see them before. Because the camera chopped the top off, I'm so sorry. And they were the cats and the rabbits in that story. Just in case they might be of interest to you too. I mean, look at that crow. Isn't, isn't that just amazing? The work that's gone in to create that little guy. Just so adorable. Another one of those nature type um, pieces and a lot of this is nature based the stories behind it are from nature as well birds and different things and I think I showed you the tree before anyway okay Another of the things I was lucky enough to get from my lovely cousin who shares beautiful things with me. She sent me this lovely little um, pack of fabrics that I can work with and now I'll have to think of a really nice project to uh, make with these. But she also sent me this gorgeous little piece of work that she's been doing inside a little doily and she has her cottons in there and you could have your needles and different things in there but she has slow stitched all of this here it's just lovely with the little french knots little hearts and crosses she's added buttons i'm hoping that you can see that well enough there in the camera that's beautiful so that's just a little doily that she's worked on so it can be something just small like that that you could actually put in a journal as a gift to someone and it's embroidered all on on the surface already and you just extend that into some other style so that's really pretty I love that and then she gave me this gorgeous it's like a kit of different um, fabrics that I can I can work with so I can cut these up and make my own it's a gorgeous hanky isn't it look at that the colors beautiful it's sort of a greeny blue aqua color it's really pretty and one of her lovely little bead dangles that she makes and this is just gorgeous a lovely piece of vintage pink linen and she has actually put this gorgeous happiest of birthdays to you inside and a pretty little rose that she's embroidered on there that's just gorgeous isn't that lovely so that's really pretty I'm looking at these and I think I showed you those the lovely fabrics and I got to about here somewhere and the camera cut out so I'm sorry you didn't get to see all those pretty pretty fabrics that I thought I was showing you and I wasn't at all this beautiful rose one absolutely gorgeous and this lovely piece here of embossed fabric with beautiful roses on it this beautiful piece of linen so pretty and so soft it's a beautiful piece of fabric so I'm thinking like what am I going to be making with these gorgeous pieces I've lost my heart somewhere it's gone underneath okay so I have this lovely selection here of beautiful cotton fabrics And then there's this beautiful piece that's a lovely Paris 
Paris piece upside down. There we go. Gorgeous. Oh, here's my heart. The lovely heart goes with those beautiful pieces, and they just go together so well. And then there's this gorgeous piece, which will make the most beautiful cover. Lovely tapestry piece. I'm really looking forward to making something delightful with that. Really beautiful. So I'm very grateful for these lovely birthday treasures. And no doubt you will be seeing something come up with those in the not too distant future. With all my lovely ideas from beautiful books and these lovely fabrics. And as I said to you before, there's so many ideas that you can um, create from stitched, slow stitching in your book. And this is a perfect example, this little book here. Joan has created with the slow stitching. Gorgeous little designs in here. Really beautiful with the pistol stitch and the hearts and lovely feathered stitch added a little button here and a little button there it's just so sweet a little puff so that's a lovely tiny little um, design that you could easily pop into a journal as a gift for someone very pretty she's got a little few extra cottons there so you can keep working on that and her lovely crocheted piece there and I'm going to show you a lovely crocheted button in um, in a journal shortly so it just goes to show that it, these little things can just add such a lot to a journal in our junk journaling craft and just add some of these small things to your journals and they really do bring them to life and give it that handmade very special touch I think just those little things make a lot of difference back to our crochet subject that I was talking about earlier and um, as you can see I'm starting to learn here oops I've pulled that out how to do the trims and edges and there are a couple of lovely crafting teachers who have done some lovely videos on how to do these online and I'll list them below for you. One is Laura from the Papered Soul and the other one is Emily from M Ephemeras and I'll list those below so that you can go and have a look if you want to try this for yourself and I just purchased these beautiful crochet hooks and they come from Ruth and Kay and I'll put a link below for those and they make life much easier because they are so chunky and if you're just starting out and you haven't learnt to hold a crochet hook that well these handles make it just so much easier because you've got more to grip on and the other thing I've found with them too I bought a set for my mum because she has really bad arthritis in her hands but she loves to crochet and she enjoys making teapot cozies I'll put a little picture up so you can see her beautiful teapot cozies and she likes to crochet little flowers and things to go on them so for her to be able to do that with normal crochet hooks it, her hands get very painful um, she has lots of swelling in the joints and it gets difficult for her to continue to crochet for long periods of time and when she starts making her teapot cozies she doesn't want to stop and she just keeps going and going until her fingers are so painful that she can't um, use them anymore so I thought by getting her a set of these it might make her life a lot easier so she's been having a play with them and I've just filmed her doing a little bit of her crocheting so that you can see she's a lot quicker than me I mean I could do a little bit but I would be very slow I do it very slow <laughs> and um, systematically whereas mum who has been doing it for years and years and years just 
gets on and goes flat out. So I'll show you a little bit of film of her using these so that you can see for yourself if you're thinking about something um, that's simpler for your hands, um, how easy it is for her to use them. And these at the moment they're on special. If you get two packs you get an extra special discount off them. So they make a really great Christmas present. So I'll put a link below so that you can see where to find these two if you're looking for them. So anyway, that's my little chat for today.